Castle on the Mountain by Peter W. A. Clawsty. Chapter 1 How the King Came to the Mountain and the Castle Once upon a time, the king of a certain country was travelling through another, another country. country. The king's, king's name was Caradoc. The king was on his way to the castle of this country. It was days and days since he had started his journey. He was, was running short of food and drink. He, he met, met some men on his way. way. He, he said, said, Good morning, what are you doing this morning? The men said, Where well, are you, you going, going, your royal majesty? majesty? I am going to see your king. The men said, We, we had a good, good summer, summer and we are going to a field to reap the corn. The king, king said, How many miles, miles is it to the capital? capital? The, the men, men said, It's twelve, 12 miles to the capital. He said, Goodbye. Goodbye. The men said, Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Then the king went away from the men. On went the king for an hour or so, then he started to climb. Up, up, up and up, up he went. He was going up the mountain. He saw a castle ahead of him. When, when the, the king, king got, got up, up the gates of the castle, he, he opened, opened them, them, and that's when his adventures started. Chapter 2, the, the first adventure, the king had in the castle. The king got in the gates of this castle. A few days after he arrived there, he was walking in the castle one day when he had an adventure. On that day, he was walking along one passage. He didn't know what was going to happen to him, and something did happen suddenly. This is how his adventure started. He was walking along this passage, as you know. Suddenly, he fell down a well. The well was in the middle of the passage. It fell right down to the bottom of the well. The well, the well was, was dry at the bottom. It was like an underground, underground passage. passage. Going along the passage, he came out of the ground. He was on the other side of the mountain. On the side of the mountain the king was on, there was a forest. He was, he was very, very surprised. surprised. The forest was so big. The king went into the forest, walked and walked through the forest. When he was in the forest, he met a lot of gypsies. The gypsy said, Hello. King said, Hello. Hello. What are you doing in this forest today? We are just travelling through this forest. forest. I will join you. Did you go past the king's palace? Yes, yes we, we did, did come past, past the king's, king's palace. palace. Thank, Thank you, you for, for telling, telling me this. this. I was on my way to the king. The gypsies and the king went travelling. They went for days and days. One day's travel, they went to an old hag's house. The king said, Let us go up to this house. We can see who lives there. They went to the door. The head gypsy knocked on the door. It opened, opened a few minutes, minutes after he knocked. knocked. The hag opened the door. The king and the gypsies went in. <laughs> when they got in the house, the old hag said, What do you, you want here? here? We want some food. Some food. Have some food. The hag said, I will not give you any food. The king said, you are not a good and kind lady. You are an old hag. The king and the gypsy said, We are not coming into your house. house. Then the head gypsy said, Come into this house, my friends. The old woman said, You are not coming into my nice house. house. The, the king said, said, Your house is a junk shop. shop. Gypsy said, If you let us come in your house, we will give you some curtain rings, bangles, bangles cloth pegs, and mats if you want them. The old hag said, Oh, oh I, I will let, let you in if you will give me 12 cloth pegs. The head gypsy said, we will give you the twelve cloves pegs. In went the gypsies and the king. The gypsies and the king saw how nice and tidy the old hag's house was inside. The king said, Your oh, house is very tidy. tidy. The hag said, Thank, Thank you, you very, very much, much for the, the nice compliments, compliment, Sonny. They went in the front door into a nice hall with blue painted walls. On the walls she had a picture of the Laughing Cavalier. They, went, they went into, into the, the first room. room. 
first room was the dining room. The hag said, What, what do, you do you want, want for your dinner? dinner? And the gypsy and the king said, We want, we we want, want some tomato soup, fish, 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 and fish, fish and, and chip and apple pie. pie. I will get it ready for you. I am going into the kitchen. The old, old hag went, went into, into the, the kitchen. kitchen. She started cooking the dinner for the gypsies and the king. The soup, soup she made was her own recipe. She put the tomato in the grater. And some other vegetables as well. She put the soup into a saucepan and put in some water as well. Then she put some potato chips in the frying pan. The hag got the fish out of the deep freeze and put it into the same pan as the chips. She put, put the, the pan on gas. Then she started the pastry. She got the flour out and put it in a bowl and five eggs. She cracked the eggs on the edge of the saucer and put them in the bowl and mixed it all. This she poured into a dish and put the apple in the dish as well. She put the dish in the oven. A moment afterwards, the floor opened and out came a witch. We'll hear more about the witch in the next chapter. The hag said, What do you want? The witch said, Oh, nothing. On went the hag with her cooking. She took the soup off the gas first. The old hag took the saucepan into the dining room. She put it on the pipes to keep it warm. And she got the twelve of them soup, plates, and she put the soup in the plates. And they started to eat. When they had finished their soup, the king said, Thank you for the very nice dinner. Now we'll have to go back to the castle. The hag and the gypsy said goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. The king said goodbye. Then he went back to the castle. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Bye. 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 Chapter three. What the king did in the castle. When the king got back to the castle, he had a lot of food and drink. On the tenth day, he was going along the passage he went into a room on the right. He had not been in that room before. He had something to do in here. He had to paint this room. It was a very old room. The oldest in the castle. It was there before the castle was built. This room was a house belonging to a witch. I have told you about her, but the king did not know. He got a duster to dust the room, as there was such a lot of dust in the room. The king took a whole day to dust it. Hmm. Huh? Then he got his paint and started to paint the room. He painted three walls blue and one black. He had to burn off the paint at first. When the witch came back to the room and found the king there, she said, What are you doing in my room? The king said, I am painting this room. The king and the witch had a little fight. The witch nearly made a very good spell. But before she could finish it, the king came up behind her and startled her. Boo! The king was not poisoned. At that moment, a queer, ugly man came in. The queer man was a wizard. He had a lot of people helping him to do his magic. The wizard was very, very, very old. Did you want me and some of my men? Said the wizard. The wizard called some of his men. And they came out of the ground. The, the room was filled with lots of people. people. The wizard and all his friends started to make lots of spells. On the dot of twelve, they had the spell ready. The wizard made some magic paintbrushes. And he gave the order to paint the walls. The king, the witch, and the wizard, and all the men, looked at the paintbrushes. Painting away, the king said, Thank you very much for making your magic brushes do all the work. The wizard said, That is all right. On with the paintbrushes, painting the room, till it was finished. The witch gave a party for the king and the wizard and his friends. <laughs> the witch made some cakes for them. Then she said to the king, Will you cut and butter the bread? The king said, Yes. And the wizard made some magic cakes. The king left the room and went to the pantry. Hello, are you... He came back with a lot of food, and there was a very big party. The party started at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They played some games, and the wizard made a record play, and the record was very good. What's green? Very, very dangerous. What's green? Very, very dangerous. A cucumber with a machine gun. Dirty rat. <laughs> the games were the usual ones for a party. One of them was musical chairs. After that, they began to eat and went on eating for hours and hours. The king said, I like this party. We all like this party very much, said the rest of them. I'm going to get a bit of a knees up. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>? <laughs>